Well, hey everyone, I hope you had a great summer. I can't believe it's uh, it's September already. Summer's over and uh, the weather's cooling and, and so is the market a little bit. Uh, as you can see from the numbers, um, still overall quite healthy. We're, we're seeing numbers that are in line with where they would have been uh, still higher than pre-COVID, but at the beginning of COVID in that, in that range. Um, Bank of Canada, now uh, just announced that they're increasing the rate yet another 0.75%. So we're up a full 3% from where we were at the beginning of the year, which at the beginning of the year was essentially free from 0.25 to now 3.25. Um, that's going to keep coming. So it's not the last interest rate hike. We're going to see two more, uh, which is obviously cooling the market. And by design, they're, they're trying to control some inflation, which is, uh, as I'm sure we all know, is, is quite rampant. So I expect these interest rates to stay uh, high for the next foreseeable future. I would, if, if I was to, to guess, I would say at least two years. And so it's essentially just the new norm. Uh, the nice thing with with Edmonton and, and Alberta uh, is that we still have a, a ton of demand. We're still seeing even from the numbers through August, uh, there's still a lot of activity. What it might be doing is pushing people into a lower price range. Uh, it may push some people out of the market, um, but we haven't seen that quite yet. So buyer behavior is, is quite different. Uh, buyers are a lot more careful with their choices. They're a lot more, uh, worrisome when they go through their home inspections and of course because they just don't know where the market is headed where the urgency that came from a hot market is no longer there all that being said though when you look at the total months of inventory we're still below five months which is you know at five months we consider that balance the four to six is, is balanced we're still sort of teetering technically on the seller's advantage side um, but that said, we are definitely seeing some price reductions, nothing drastic, um, but sellers are starting to have to compete a little bit more. There is more inventory out there. Some select areas are still very difficult for buyers, so it's a little bit of a mixed bag. Uh, what we've seen in terms of the biggest change, acreages have, have come down and softened back to, uh, not from a sale price perspective, but from sale numbers perspective, they've come down to pre-COVID numbers. Um, so still healthy, but uh, but definitely not the, the hotness that we saw. Uh, I expect prices to come down a little bit on those, uh, nothing drastic. Uh, the smallest change that we've seen is actually in condos and apartment style condos where um, you know the sale numbers are actually up the sale price shows a slight decline which is which is odd um, but yeah less of a drastic change because they never went up significantly so they're not going to drop significantly they're just kind of holding steady and uh and million dollar homes uh they we've seen identical numbers to where we were last year in terms of anything million plus in terms of sales uh we are seeing people spending a little bit less so less in the kind of two million range um and more below million and a half and so that there is an indication that that uh, prices are softening a little bit there as well but uh but the good news is that people are still spending money and that's what's important and so um, all in all, still not a not a terrible report. It's uh, it's kind of what we expected. The we, the the, uh, the government and Canada is not alone in this. I think the world is is all in the same boat where everybody's trying to control inflation. And uh, and we had some some super hot times. We're going to start to see some some more reasonable numbers come in. And I really don't feel that we'll see anything drastic in a in a negative way. So uh, Alberta is still going to lead the way in in terms of. Uh, of in migration of job opportunities and all of those things and so there's still some some great opportunities but uh i, I suspect it will be actually more boring conversations in terms of no huge changes and and, and i think that i'm going to be right there so all in all um hope everybody's getting settled back into work and school and all of those things and uh, we'll see you next month